trying to find the right shade. I got A and B and I can kind of see it's in between and it's got a little bit more chroma, but we're starting with this bleach onyx tough doesn't. And then we want to adjust the Pontic. So I have my ridge now. And if I have my Pontic on, you can look through the uh, internal surface and you can see that it's protruding through. So again, I'm using the edit mode, but one very important thing uh, that kind of went fast is I locked the maxilla layer. So I right clicked on that layer on the left and I pressed lock so that I wouldn't be editing my maxilla model. I'm only editing this Pontic. So you see that little lock symbol. And now I can use the add, the remove, the smooth to create this. And again, I can turn that maxilla base back on to look, but I'm hoping or looking for no intersection. Okay. And again, remember that is a estimate of the position and you can always either decide to leave some space, which is also fine, but I usually coordinate this with my periodontist and ask them, you know, is it okay if you make the adjustment chair side or how do you want to do this? And we go with that and just good communication is key. So right now I'm doing it based on my estimation, which was conservative and we go from there. So now we have our Pontic and we have a model that we can 3D print. The only thing that is left, which I like, is to add a retentive groove for a retention groove. Uh, you can cut this in yourself, but it's actually super easy and very convenient to digitally design this. So what I do is go again to edit mode, and then I'm gonna use the selection here with the points and I'm gonna come right across. But with this tool, it goes all the way through, okay? I like it because I can make a straight line, but now I'm removing using the brush. So I, I put the uh, removal on and I'm using the brush to kind of take away the parts I don't want. And I'm going to uh, press okay. And we just duplicated that area, okay? So I duplicated that area and now I wanna offset that area. I want to go ahead and uh, lift this away, give or take between 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters so that it, see that blue area? I offset it from the tooth so it sticks out a little bit. And then if you take a look at this, you have this area and now what you want to do is also thicken that. So you offset it and now I'm going to thicken it this thickness is going to define how much it cuts into the tooth. You'll see in a sec. So I just made it, what, one millimeter thicker. And if you look at this on top of your Pontic, you can see that you've offset it and you've thickened it. So what I'm going to do is use the Boolean cut and take B away from A. So I'm going to take that area and cut it away. And you'll see that what we have now is the resulting remaining Pontic with a retentive groove cut right in. So I have to do very little finishing. I can make my Essex. You can also bond it into your Essex tray, but I don't find that's usually necessary with this groove. And I just let the patient know about this. Good time to rename things because you have all these layers. And when you want to go to 3D print these, you want to be able to have some clear communication with your staff, or in your case, just to be not disoriented when you're looking at all these layers. So I named it number nine, final Pontic with retention group. 3D printing this is pretty straightforward. So we're going to, um, so here we're looking at our uh, file viewer view of this scan. And you can see under the design tab over here on the left, we have all those different layers. And um, this one was named different because I had done this previously, but you're going to basically pick whichever one you want. So this one's final number nine Pontic. I want to export it as an STL file. So I just select that one. And when I press export, we have the file and then it's ready to print. When I want to print this, I'm going to use Onyx Tough from Sprint Ray. It's a really nice material for these things. It's the bleach shade, but it's actually pretty nice for a wide range of shades with stain and glaze. And I'll show you that in a moment. So here's the patient prior to the day of her extraction. And I'm trying to find the right shade. I got A and B and I can kind of see it's in between and it's got a little bit more chroma, but we're starting with this bleach onyx tough 
doesn't match at all. But look with OptiGlaze color using some A plus B plus um, a little bit of cervical uh, pink orange shade and even a little bit of translucency. We're able to get a pretty nice appearance here. And then I fix this onto that extraction model using sticky wax and make an Essex, give it to my periodontist and it's ready for the day of surgery. And um, unfortunately I didn't get a great photo of this afterwards because we quickly transitioned to the next appliance. She only had to wear this for three weeks. And in that time I didn't see her. And by the time she came, she forgot to bring it with her. So I missed out on a good photo, but um, that bridged the gap from her extraction day to this stage. Thank you.